Hello everyone, so today I'm making a video on a more budget loadout, everything you'll need to play Airsoft. If you want to get into Airsoft, this video is for you. And one thing I would like to say beforehand, if I say the price of something and I, there's a little text on the bottom that's a different price, the text on the bottom is the correct price. I might just for, remember the price wrong. The price on that will be on the screen is the actual verified price. So without further ado, let's get in the video. And I would like to say, I am not putting any plate carriers in this. I just wear a light sweatshirt or hoodie, whatever, with this coat on top of it. And that's all I need. I mean, some people might like plate carriers, but they are 40, 50 bucks. And I just say, get one if you think you need it. Go to a game. If you don't think you need it, just don't spend the extra money on it. I don't. I like the extra maneuverability. So I don't think you really need a plate carrier. You can always get one later if you feel like you need it. Now, the most important thing is the Airsoft gun. So, this is the Colt Micro Switch G3 Gearbox M4. I don't know. Whatever. It's $180 this model. I saw someone recommending a Lancer Tactical that was around this price for a starter kit, and I just did not understand that. But I'll put it on the screen right now. Matrix sells one that looks very, very similar to this. Has the same gearbox, I think, has basically the same internals for $112. You can also get a different version of this for like $130. So basically, I'm just going to say $112 for a rifle with a MOSFET and a micro switch, which gives you great trigger response and allows you to, to use LiPo batteries, which is amazing. So yes, I highly recommend this gun. And the variant of it that I'm going to put in the description in the link is $112, which is a very, very good price. Now for the whole, well first, barrel cover, Falcon, $5, bought at my local Airsoft store, like, it's, I did not, I did not get that on eVike or anything, but you can. Batteries, I got the LiPo Balance Charger, it's from Matrix, it feels really light, I'm gonna be honest, but it works, so I can't complain, um, for like 20 bucks, I think. Then a LiPo battery. I use a 7.4. This gun is compatible with 11.1s, but I didn't want to wear it out really fast when this isn't the most expensive. But you could probably use a 11.1. And this is around $20, and you have the Tamiya connector. I don't know how to pronounce that. Then for like $12, you also have the LiPo safe bag because LiPo batteries, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, they can technically like explode i know that's i'm saying that way too casually don't worry about it this is just like if there's a fire or something it's all contained within the bag there don't worry but technically there is a risk so that's why you get one of these it's like 12 bucks it's really cheap now gloves so these are like 50 dollars like pig tactical i think gloves they're very very nice but you don't even need gloves i mean gloves are nice but especially if you get hit in the hand, but you don't necessarily need gloves. I'm not putting any in this list. Frankly, if you really want gloves, probably have some of these like cloth cloth gloves just laying around your house. Just use those. I mean, I, like I don't you don't even have to use gloves. You can just use one of these. I just can't justify spending $50 on gloves when you're first starting airsoft considering that's already more expensive than your face protection more ex like almost half the price of your gun on just gloves so the are gloves nice yes i love these but i don't think you need gloves when starting out for the bbs i use emg this is like probably i'm gonna guess 18 dollars for 5,000. i use 0.23s sometimes 0.25s it just depends so these are nice, they're biodegradable, and you need biodegradable for most outdoor fields. And I've never had any problems with these BBs. Just make sure to keep it sealed because moisture can make them swell, theoretically. But I really like these. Also, so this gun and the gun that I put in the link, the 112 one, comes with a 300 round high cap magazine. That's really good, but I also recommend buying one mid cap. This holds, it's 6mm Pro Shop, it's like $8, holds like 140 BBs, it works great, it's all I could ever ask for. You really will probably only need one of these for a match, and you can just switch to your high cap if you do happen to run out. And you might not even need to switch to your high cap, so 
I just think that's a very good choice. You don't need that many mags. Now, I have six mags for my amoeba, for my Ares Hellbreaker. I might be overdoing it a little bit, but you really only need one midcap and one spare if you're doing CQB shorter games. Don't make the mistake I did. You need a speed loader. I made a short on this. Go watch it now. Um, you need a speed loader to load mid caps. This is $20, holds 500 BBs, which is great because if you really want to stick with your mid cap, you and you just if you run out of BBs, you can just pop this off, load some in. It's only, I think it's really nice. Odin ones are twice the price. They're $40. If you really want to, you can get it, but you don't need to. This is nice. There's also $12 versions of this, which I'm going to put in the in the link in the description. And the last thing you need is face protection. I'm I really don't think I've forgotten anything, but if I forgot anything, please comment it and I'll pin a comment talking about the things I forgot just in case. But the Falcon, I believe this is MI5, it's $35. I might not even put prices in the little bottom area because I'm just saying the prices out loud. I'll just put them in the description. But this is a very nice, it's a paintball mask, but paintballs, paintballs actually have more power than airsoft BBs generally because they're so much heavier and they're firing around the same speed. This can handle up to 300 FPS paintballs, which are much, much heavier than BBs. So this can easily take BBs. It's nice, it's, it's fairly spacious. It's got good adjustment. It's just, I don't think it fogs that much. I, so, I actually haven't used this in a match. I use um, ESS goggles with a lower face protection. But this is very nice. So, I can't say if it fogs or not. But, highly recommended. So many people use this. So, I highly recommend the Valken face mask. And if you do want lower face protection, I'll probably talk about like goggles and lower face protection. I'll probably talk about that in another video. So, I know that was kind of a speed running video, but that's really all you need. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I pretty much covered everything. So, that's the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment anything that I missed, if I did miss anything. Not not like a red dot or anything, because you don't need it to play. But if I did miss anything, please comment it, because I'll talk about it in the comments. And check the description, because I have all the links in the description. I'm not being paid or anything for this. I have all the links and the prices in the description. And the title will say the total price of this build. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.